you know, the rubbers hit the road. We got some traction. Immortal is right exactly where they should be. We're taking care of all the family business, Mr. Bischoff. So, RVD, come on out here, brother. I need to talk to you. Championship Sunday at Lockdown. It's RVD, Mr. Anderson, gunning in that three-way match for Sting's TNA World Title. Yeah, awesome opportunity for the title that Rob never lost. Let's face it, get an opportunity this Sunday for the World Title. Let's see what happens here. I mean, Hogan and Bischoff calling uh, Van Dam out here. It's an interesting turn of events. Yo, Rob, I know you see what's going on out here, so I'm gonna say this one time and one time only. Please don't make the same mistake that Anderson made out here. Brother, no, listen to me, listen to me. Remember back to March 2010 when I brought you to TNA, dude. I wanted you to be a big part of the team, a very important part of the team. And the laid back attitude that you have, brother, your whole career, People have been taking advantage of you, dude, time and time again. But recently, RVD, I've seen a completely different Rob Van Dam, brother. I mean, you've been on fire as of late. You know, and it looks like the new Rob Van Dam isn't going to take a backseat to anybody. You fit perfectly with what we got going on, dude. And if you think I didn't see what truly happened in that match last week with Sting, well then you're wrong, brother, because I truly saw what was going on. When Anderson dropped him, you took advantage of the situation. The new RVD took advantage of the situation and you pinned the TNA champion for a one, two, three, brother. That's the way I saw it and I liked it a lot, brother. That was awesome. Last week on Impact, to me, it did not look like RVD saw what Hogan was just talking about as Hogan and RVD's conversation is interrupted by the appearance of the TNA World Heavyweight Champion Sting. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I am fired up, man, to sit at ringside with you, Mike, to call the World Heavyweight title this Sunday, man. Freeway for Sting's championship. I got a feeling who I think so, is going to win that match. Who? I'll tell you Sunday. I'm not letting it out right now. I'm not. That is a lie, Hogan. Because Rob never saw what Anderson did. Rob never saw Anderson lay me out, and you know it. And the Rob Van Dam that I know would never take a win like that. Trust me, Rob. The last place you want to be is on that side of the ring right there. And I got to tell you, it is an awesome honor and privilege to be the world champion. TNA! But I'm not going to take my eyes off the issue, the real issue, and that's getting rid of both of you. And Rob, at the end of the day, you're gonna to have to make your own decision. You're gonna to have to make your own choice, Rob. And at lockdown, if you are the better man and you defeat me, then you capture this world title. But if you're not the better man and you choose to hop in the sack with these two jabronis right here, then the only way you're gonna win this world title is over my dead body. Think about that, Rob.
Van Dam surveyed the situation and, and he's totally non-committal to either Sting or Hogan. Yeah, I'm a little surprised at that. I mean, I know Rob a very long time. He's usually very opinionated. Uh, and he kind of wears his emotion on his sleeves and Spice didn't say anything. I don't know about here. you, Hulkster, but I'm feeling really, really confident right now. You see, Sting? The deal is, you, you're never going to get a guy like RVD because, quite honestly, despite everything you've accomplished, and you have accomplished one hell of a lot in your career. Hasn't he? Give it up for the Stinger! You really have. But at the end of the day, given all of your accomplishments and everything that you've become and you represent, the fact of the matter is you are just not quite the chess player that Hulk Hogan is. As a matter of fact, Hulk Hogan has been out manipulating you for the better part of your entire career. And as a matter of fact, as we stand here before this vast television audience and these people here, he is manipulating you and playing you like a violin right now. As a matter of fact, I feel, I don't know, a checkmate in your very, very near future. Wrong again because checkmate is mine right now. Oh, the oh, land! Wow. Sting with the shot oh, for whoa, Bishop. Whoa, 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 Gonna go Scorpion! Wait a minute, hold up. What the hell is Sting doing here? Oh. Scorpion death drop for Bishop! Now Sting's attention is turned to Hulk Hogan. Well, I, I, I don't understand. I mean, Sting just... Uh, that's kind of conduct unbecoming for Sting, wouldn't you say? I would say Sting's focus. It's back on Hulk Hogan and Eric Bischoff. Well, Hogan's not a, not a healthy man yet. No, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to steal a page out of your book. Not on your time, on mine. Don't hit the envelope. Mine, Hogan. Brother, don't do it. of his own medicine. Question is, when will Sting's time be? Will it be tonight on Impact? Will it be this Sunday at Lockdown in Cincinnati? Sting just dropped Eric Bischoff and Scorpion. That drop. You're a lucky man, Stinger. You're a lucky man, Stinger.